The next game we're going to show briefly is a game called Get Bit. Have you seen this one before? I have not. Oh, you haven't? Good no, I, I tell you, I'm a kind of a Lego fan. And I'm just absolutely delighted by these little dudes. Yeah, you like them? There's a... I, I'm having a girly moment over yeah, here. Oh, that's cute. We hope you enjoy it. Here, you can play with that one while I explain the game. Oh, thank you. Uh, they're fun little characters they did. They stand on their head. You can do little inappropriate things with them, whatever, you know. They're just fun little characters, right? Uh, what you're doing in this game, though, is you're playing up to six players. We actually have a seventh player shark expansion out. Uh, you've got the shark and it's chasing your robot through the water. So they're swimming frantically away, trying to survive. And all you're doing is you've got your uh, up to six players. Everyone has a card and they play. We'll just say they play these cards at random. You play one of your six cards or seven if you're playing a larger game. Mm -hmm. And you turn them over and reveal. The player that has the best card will move last. So the guy with the yellow, he got a one. He'll go to the front. Okay. And then the five and the five, they have the same card, so they actually stay where they are. If one of them had had a four, then he would have moved, and then the five would have moved to the front. But right. they both have the best card, so neither of them moved. If you don't always play the best card, you're going to lose. In this case, this guy gets bit, so he actually loses a limb. Oh, okay? I don't feel bad about popping off his arm no, no, earlier. I was hoping to. you didn't notice. No, no, that's, that's, that's <laughs> part of the game. So you can take it. The shark actually ate that one. He goes to the front of the line and gets all his cards back. These guys have then lost those two cards, and they leave them face up. Mm -hmm. And this is the order now. He ah. went to the front. So then you just play another round, and that's the whole game. We'll turn these guys over. Look, he played his five again. <laughs> so Did he learn from last time? Apparently he thought, well, the other guy played his five. Who's going to play the five now? So there's actually a little strategy showing on this game. Uh, but in this case, the five and the other five don't move. The red goes to the front. So yellow gets bit. So since yellow gets bit, he loses a limb. And it doesn't matter which limb It doesn't limb matter which he limb. He goes to the front. He gets his cards back. Now green's lost a card, and red's lost a card. Chomping noise is optional? Yes, yeah, so you can chomp it if you like, however you want to play. <laughs> and you just keep playing like that. If you ever get down to two cards, you get all your cards back. Whenever you get bit, you go to the front of the line, and you get your cards back. So you can see what everyone's played, so there's some strategy mm. there. That, that's the whole game. The game ends when there's three people left. When that third person loses all his limbs, or her limbs, then the person at the front of the line that turn is the winner. So that's the end of the game. So not only do you want to not get bit, but you do want to get bit the turn before the last turn so you can be at the front of the line. And so then, there's actually some strategy there too. So a little uh, jockeying for position right exactly. at the end. Exactly, yeah. So it's a lot of fun. It's a really fun little drill, drill, uh, filler game. It takes about 15 minutes to play. Uh, three to six player. You can actually play seven with this. Yes, yeah, so I was noticing there's, there's more, more, more guys, robot dudes so they in can here. Do more guys to do things with. And that's the whole game. Uh, really fun. We added the shark. This is actually not the first printing of the game. The first print sold out. We just got the rights to this this year and uh, released it at uh, Origins or Gen Con, I forget which. But uh, we do have it available here at Essen, and it's been really popular. So that's Get Bit.